Welcome to this lesson about Java Virtual Machine. This lesson can help you to optimize your code as a Java developer. And it also help you uh, if you are going to have an interview for a Java developer position. So, is Java a cross-platform? Yes, Java is cross-platform in the sense that compiled Java program runs on all platforms for which they exist a JVM. This uh, holds for all major all major operating systems including Windows, Mac operating system and Linux. So what JVM does? The JVM perform the following operation. Number one, it load, loads code, verifies code, execute code, provide runtime environment provide runtime environment so JVM provide definitions for the number one memory area class file format register set garbage collector collected heap and fatal error reporting etc. This is what, what JVM does. This is what JVM does. So in this diagram we look at the uh, component of the Java runtime environment. Uh, we have a class loader and memory area allocated by JVM contain class area heap stack BC register native method stack we have an execution in engine and we have native method interface native uh, Java native library. We are going to talk uh, about each one. Oh, uh, number one, class loader. Class loader is a subsystem of the Java virtual machine that is used to load class files. Number two, class method area. Class method area store their class structures such as the runtime constant bool field and methods uh, field and method data the code for methods. We have the heap. The heap it is the runtime data area in which objects are allocated in which objects are allocated we have the stack java stack stores frames it holds local variables and partial results and plays a part in method invocation and return each thread has a private Java virtual machine stack created at the same time as the thread. A new frame is created each each time the method is invoked. A new frame is created each time the method is invoked. A frame is destroyed when it is its method invocation 
complete it uh, after is destroyed okay so we have also the program count register or the BC register program count register it contains what the address of the of the Java virtual machine instruction currently being executed we have the native method stack it contains all the native method used in the application finally we have the execution engine and the execution engine contains virtual processor and it contains interpreter that read byte called stream then execute the instructions and it contains the just in time compiler the git compiler is used to improve the, the performance just in time compiler compiles part of the byte code that have similar functionality at the same time and hence reduces the, the amount of time needed for compilation here the term compiler refers to a translator form uh, the instruction set of the Java virtual machine to the instruction set of the specific CPU, CPU. so the com what what the compiler does is to uh, translate from the instruction set of the JVM to the instruction set of the CPU thank you for watching I hope you enjoy this video please subscribe to watch more lessons